Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great most of the will, and who has the 100 percent truth. This is for the whole field of Israel, which are so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scattered across the four corners of the earth, that speckled within the other nations, that may look like the other heathen nations, if this word resonates with you. Then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true, true Hebrew Israelites, which the Bible speaks of. Okay. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Yahweh. He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son, His beloved Son, is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. Now, Lord and Savior, it's when we are looking forward to coming these last days, and we are definitely in the last of the last days. Just the brother Durock from the Detroit camp, and through the spirit power, that Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, I come to you with a short lesson. It's dealing with you non-believing Jakes and also you Jakes that's in a position of authority that's still out here doing the things that you are not supposed to be doing, living off of other Jakes and not telling them the truth. Okay? You know who you are. Even in these harlot houses, you're still doing it. And it's a judgment for all of this, and it's coming quick. Okay? Let's get to the notes. Make this quick as possible. Notes on Jeremiah 5 and Psalm 20, uh, Prophet Jeremiah 5 and 21. Okay, because see, this is for you, Jace, who do not fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Jeremiah, book of Prophet Jeremiah, Prophet of Prophets, okay, Prophet Jeremiah. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not, okay? Talking about you, Jay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Because you think that you, your own arm will save you or your affiliates can save you, okay? You Masons, you Eastern Stars and your fraternities, man, you're wrong. You need salvation from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, okay? Your weapons can't save you. None of the people you linked up with, with your five, what, one, three C's and the secret organizations on the left-hand side, that can't save you. Okay? And you're going to find out because you do not fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by some Yahweh side. Fear ye not me? Say the most like Yahweh. Will you not tremble at my presence? Which I placed the sand for the bomb. Others see by perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves pass, though the waves they up toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Though they war, yet can they not pass over it? How can you not fear a power that controls everything from the water, air, and sea, which is far above our meager understanding? Of his works, okay? We have a meager understanding, okay? Of his works, the definition of meager, okay? You see, if you describe an amount or quantity of something as meager, you are critical of it because it is very small or not enough. The rations that they give us were meager and inadequate, and that's our understanding, okay? Of the Things, the creation of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh, his power. Psalms 147, 4 through 5 in the NLT. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. You can't do that. Sure, you can see the big dipper, this, that, and the third, but you can't do what the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh does. Even Esau, Edom. He is a liar. A strange from the womb. He, he come out a liar, okay? He don't know everything. 
He only knows what the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh said wants him to know. Okay. Psalms 147, 4 through 5 in the NLT. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. How great is our Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh said. His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. Okay. To get that word comprehension, get the definition of it in dictionary. Comprehension. The accent or capability of understanding something. Some won't have the least comprehension of what I'm trying to do. Okay. In a Merriam-Webster, comprehension, definition, and meaning. The meaning of comprehension is the act or action of grasping with the intellect, understanding. Okay, Cambridge. Many of comprehension in the Cambridge, meaning the ability to understand completely and be familiar with the situation. Okay, you get the point. So like it. How great is our Heavenly Father Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh Sai? His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. Psalms 34 and 11. Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, which is children, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, and he's going to teach you fear. Acts 5, 1 through 11, this is that fear. And it reads, but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession. Okay. And kept back part of the price. His wife also being privy to it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan, Shaitan, filled thine heart to light to the Holy Ghost? And no such thing as ghosts. So we say Holy Spirit, Spirit Holy, Rakakwadas. Okay? And to keep back part of the price of the land. So they sold land to give to the prophets, to the apostles. For whatever reason they were doing it for. Okay. But they held back some of the money. Okay. Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was so, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. So they held back some of the money. They, some of the money, they didn't give them all to what they were supposed to. But the apostles knew. They knew. Okay. You can't hide from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. You can't hide. A judgment is coming. Matter of fact, I'm going to read this from the topic here. Acts 5, 1, 3, 11. So that's the first verse. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price. Okay. His wife also being privy to it and bought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land whilst it remained? Was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto the Most High, Yahweh. 
And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down. He didn't trip over a rock and he fell down and gave up the ghost. Many died. And great fear came on all of them that heard these things. And the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out. Okay, so they must have wrapped him up as like, you know, probably a sheet or something. And carried him out. Okay. And they buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, which is Sophia, not knowing what was done, came in. So she didn't know that her husband had died. Okay. She didn't know. But listen. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yeah, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, How is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then she well, then fell she down straightway at his feet and yielded up the ghost. So she also fell at his feet and she died also. Okay? So you can't hide anything from the Heavenly Father Yahweh by some Yahweh side. Because the judgment's going to come on you. There's nothing secret that is hidden. Okay? And the young men came in and found her dead and carried her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came upon all the church and upon as many as heard these things. Okay? So there's no escape from judgment of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, in which he speaks through his servants, the prophets. Okay? Amos 3 and 6. Through the seventh verse, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Should there be evil in the city, and the heavenly Father Yahweh have not done it? Surely the Most High Yahweh, by some Yahweh's side, power will do nothing, but He revealed His secret to His servants, the prophets. His servants, the prophets are out there on the highways and byways proclaiming the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai, first spirit created, okay, which is our Lord and Savior, okay? And they've given you warning of the judgment to come, but you just don't fear the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Book of Zechariah 7, 9 through 11 in the NLT. This is what the Most High Yahweh of Heaven's armies says, Judge fairly and show mercy and kindness to one another. Do not oppress widows, orphans, foreigners, and the poor, and do not scheme against each other. Your ancestors refused to listen to this message. They stubbornly turned away and put their fingers in their ears to keep from listening. Okay? This was back in King Darius' day and also has and is happening still in this time. Zechariah 7, 9 through the 11th verse in the NLT. This is what the Most High Yahweh of Heaven's army says. Judge fairly and show mercy and kindness to one another. Do not oppress widows, orphans, foreigners, and the poor. And do not scheme against each other. Your ancestors refused to listen to this message. They stubbornly turned away and put their fingers in their ears to keep from hearing. This happens all the time in today's society. A wicked, stubborn jace who robs, steal, and kill for the money. Through schemes and everything else. The Most High Yahweh sees everything. Sirach 23, 19 to 21. Such a man only feared the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, 
are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Now those eyes of the heavenly father Yahweh by Simeon Hamasad are the angels watching everything. You don't see them, but they see you. And they're reporting everything you do, whether it's done in secret or not, they're reporting it to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay? Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, in Apocrypha, 1611, Apocrypha, 23, 19 through 21. Such a man only feared the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Most High Yahweh, Baha'i Shem Yahweh, are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Verse 20. He knew all things ere ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. And where he suspected not, he shall be taken. So with that being said. They might as well keep turning around after they done did their wickedness. I'm talking about you, Jace, you so-called niggas, Latinos, and Native Americans. You might as well turn around and watch when your death comes, when your judgment comes. Because it's going to come on you sooner or later. Okay? The Most High, Yahweh by Simeon, Yahweh High, is the judge whom you should fear. The book of Prophet Jeremiah 5, 26 through the 28 verse. For among my people, I found wicked men, they lay wait. As he that set a snares, they set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat, they shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Who is the wicked? The rich and elite Baker family, self-proclaimed white man, Esau Edom, in which this world was given to us in Job 9, 24. But it's going to end, though. And you can find that in Ecclesi, no, 2nd Esther 6 and 9. So like it, 2nd Esther 6 and 9. They are watching fat, they shine, yet they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. You can see a lot of that going on still. And these hollow houses they tell you that uh, you have to pay tithes, but all the other laws have been done away with, even, even to the end. These people, you Jays, are still carrying on your same wicked, doing the same wicked things that you always have done. As the Holy Scripture said, that your fathers have done. But guess what? You're going to pay for it. For among my people I found wicked men. They lay wait. As he that set it snares, they set a trap. They catch men as a cage is full of birds. So are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they have become great and wise and rich. They are wise and fat, they shine, yet they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. Okay? And the right of the needy, do they not judge? And the same thing happened back in Maccabees, okay? And they helped Hellenize the Jews, okay? The same thing happened then, it's happening again. Until, until everything is destroyed, which is going to be Babylon, the great spiritual Sodom, Egypt. This place is going to be destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles, okay? But you got Jacob's trouble coming. They have to make the Karadma mandatory, Revelation 13, 16. And if you take it, destruction is coming to you. You have to read Revelation 14, ninth verse on down. Okay? That's what distress is coming by those thermonuclear missiles. Because you agree to the worship this B system, the NWO, the Karama, which if you take it, it has to be some dumbly implanted under your skin. 
or in your head. Nevertheless, you will be destroyed. You will be judged. Okay. First Maccabees 1, 11 through 15. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we have departed from them, we have had much sorrow. A lot of you Jays want to stay upon your oppressor. Okay, you want to keep feeding from them. That's going to lead to your destruction. You took their 5013 C's, you joined their little groups and clubs. You thought you were like them, but you're not like them. They are not like you. They were set up for perdition, for destruction. But since you want to be amongst them in their system, you're set up for destruction as well, and you're called the two thirds. First Maccabees 1, 11 through 15. In those days there were now of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So did this, this device please the well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king, who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the custom of the heathen and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are in so-called leadership positions that came against the truth of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side and led others away from the truth, you will also see judgment. Okay, Jeremiah 5, Prophet Jeremiah 5, 29-31. Shall I not visit for these things, said the Most High Yahweh? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? What, what you going to do, Jake? The Most High has sent his messenger to ready the way for our Lord and Savior Yahweh. We are in the time of Babylon, the great spiritual Sodom and Egypt, a.k.a. America, to be destroyed. Okay. What will you, Jake, do? What will you say when the time comes? Okay. Malachi 4, 5 through 6. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Most High Yahweh. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers. At least I come and smite the earth with the curse. Okay? That message was out of business. If you can if you can receive it, okay. That message. In this time, in the reincarnation, came back. John the Baptist. Okay. And was taught the apostles. And which the apostles taught other men all the way down. Okay. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers. At least I come and smite the earth with the curse. Okay. And so we learn from our apostles. And which they learn from their elders. And it goes all the way down the line. From Apostle Tahar, Apostle Kabar, Bakar. All the way down, even the, the bishops, and to this to to this day, it's still going, it's still going, and that's why we get double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. For it not been for them, through the spirit of power of Yahweh by sending Yahweh, we would not know this truth. Okay, and by us knowing this truth, it gives us comfort. 
Okay. Isaiah 61, 1 through 2. The spirit of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh power, is upon me because the Most High Yahweh have anointed me to preach good tidings and to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh side, and the day of vengeance of our power, to comfort all that mourn. Okay, because you know the Holy Scriptures buy us up our broken heart. Through the Holy Scriptures, we begin to heal from our pain of oppression. That was our judgment for going against the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh side. Now we are being called back because of his mercy and namesake and not of anything we did, okay? Book of Ezekiel 36, starting at the 23rd verse, going to the 28th. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. Let's look at that word profane. Profane. He's looking it up in a dictionary. Treat something sacred. <coughs> so like it. With irreverence or disrespect. It was a serious matter. Okay. Let's see if I got another better one. Okay. Profane also in the Bible. Profane. Kala. Uh, from prophetess before the temple, therefore unholy, polluted, secular, is a frequent occurrence, okay, in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. Basically, me outside the temple, and I will sanctify my great name, which was profane among the heathens, which ye have profaned and midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am. The Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay. In all caps, Lord in all caps, that's speaking the most high. I am is him. He only calls he is. I am. But Lord in all caps is, it means Yahweh. Yah is he, Yahweh, he is. He exists. Okay. Said the most high Yahweh Pahashim Yahweh's high power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, for I will take you from, from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you will be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols, and I will cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. And I'm speaking about the new covenant. That's what that's speaking about. Right now we're in these bodies right here, these, these carnal bodies. They go off. Regardless of what you do, you're going to go off. Okay? Even the thoughts that you think, you don't repent from them, you're going to go off. Okay? But when we get those new bodies, when our Lord and Savior come back, okay, we won't have to teach anybody else the Holy Scriptures. Okay, we wouldn't have to do that. We wouldn't have to teach our neighbors. We wouldn't have to do these lessons for each other. Because it's going to be in our DNA. We're gonna be, it's going to be built up in our DNA. It's going to be in us. Even when the two-thirds come back, born as little babies, they come back from the loins, through the loins of the 144,000 elect men. Okay, the two believers, men, women, and children, they make up the one-third. They're going to be good. 
because it's going to be already in them. Okay? We'll, have, we'll, we'll be cleansed with all our idols, all our vain thoughts, all of those things that was down here, okay, in this wicked kingdom, this wicked queendom of Esau and Edom. Okay? This is our last captivity, our last judgment. Okay? But for Esau, Edom, rich and elite banking families, self-proclaimed white man, you other heathen nations, this is your time to be downtrodden, your time to catch what we caught. But Esau, Edom, you're going to get double. Okay? Be prepared. As we are being prepared. Because it's devil, and that's in Revelation 12, 12. He knows that he had but a short time. So Jacob's trouble is on the way. And with that, the water to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai for allowing me to bring this out. Uh, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well. And with that, Shalom.